Right, this is Lydiard Hill, where the lots of herds of humans come, and they're all taken over the nice seating or sitting over there eating. A few people in the bushes. It's a bit blowy. I've put my hat on now. Um, I have done quite a hike, by the way, already. Um, I'm 8 o'clock this morning. I'm just going to check the time. But I'm at Lydiard Hill. I'm going to be heading past um, the drove of uh, West Bagborough to Triscombe Stone again. That's when I'm going to make a decision whether to go down Triscombe Stone, down to Triscombe, or I'm going to go on to Crocom. Right, the good news is it's only one o'clock. I'm quite surprised. I've done really well since I started at Triscombe Stone, went all the way along Greatwood, right the way down to Ash Holt, all the way up the drove. And I'm here now, so that's quite good. So since arriving at Ash Church, it's been two hours. That's from I spent half an hour there, so it only took me half an hour to get here. I'm quite amazed, to tell you the truth. So, to be quite honest, there's plenty of time to do, um, get to Crocom. We can do a full circle. Yeah, I'm quite surprised how quick I've done it. And I've been walking since 8 o'clock this morning. I've done a massive walk. I had to break at Ashholt. Yeah, the, the bulk of the walk's been done now, really. It's all, all easy now. So here we are. This is where my sister Jude, when she went well, her husband used to drive her up here. They used to talk about Lydiard Hill a lot, but you know what, personally, I don't make much of it. Not compared to Holford and all that. I don't know why people make such a big thing there. I don't know, really don't know. But in a minute, when we get up here... Wait, let me take some more shots while this one plays up. It will in a minute. It's very hazy, by the way, now. So it's not my camera. It's, it's a, a haze all over Somerset, so everything's misty. But that could be the volcano that's erupted big time in Iceland this past week. A volcano's gone crazy. So all this uh, grey stuff <coughs> could be volcanic. Getting into our bodies. Turning us to stone. There is a lower path, but I thought I'd come up here. I thought I'd come up here. So we can get the views over to where I walked earlier. And then we'll pick up the drove. The West Bagborough drove. Well, it's not it's actually not a drove. It's um, a bit of a drove. Not a very big one. And then you go towards Will's Neck if you want. Trick point. I normally veer off in a minute. We'll get some good views in a minute. This is it. This is what they call Lydiard Hill. And it probably has got some sort of history. But I've never really found it that exciting. It's more like a, park, a picnic and parking area. That's how I see it. That's the beginning of West Bagbrook Drove there with those trees. Over there. <sighs> now 
Now somewhere we need to get down to the gate. I'll tell you why. Let me just think why, why? Because we need to see where we pick up that track that leads us across. So we need to, we actually need to go down here a minute. There's a track that comes straight out of the, the gate area and across. So we need to get down to the gate so that we know in another time uh, we know where that, that route is. And that, don't want to get lost. Let's go down on the path. Yeah, it'll be quite a lot of video footage today. I haven't got any spare memory cards though. I mean, no. Oh no, that isn't it. It must be the further one on. Next one up. When we get to the gate further down there, more tracks, more roads up, we'll come to, well, it's, it's a West Spagbra gate basically and then we um, we'll see where the track that comes right opposite where you emerge from West Bagbrook or Stout Lane it goes over I reckon I could have lost half a stone today in the amount of walking I've done it's been a real I knew it was going to be a challenge for me I knew it was going to be a challenge right I'm going to turn off for a minute Take a picture of that tree. Take a picture down there. Then turn this one off for a rest. Otherwise it goes to sleep on its own. There's a big herd of people ahead of me. I'm letting them go. They've just come after lunch somewhere, probably that lot. And uh, basically, <coughs> they'll, go, they'll probably walk to the trig point and back and then get in their car. But everyone's different, and that could happen to me one day. When I can't do the big walks. Now, I, I would struggle walking with somebody else doing this. And I'll tell you why. Because I have struggled sometimes with my breathing. Sometimes with indigestion. And I have to... Pitch myself according to those two things. So, you know, either slow up, rest. I'm having a bit of um, quavers at the moment. They help a bit with uh, indigestion. I find quavers do. Right, I'm turning off for a minute. But we're not far from West Bagra Stout Lane. Right, sorry for the short little bits of video. But I do... What I do is just link them all together. I'm still on the same track. And I always say to people, you only see snippets of my walk. You don't see every single minute of my walks. Sometimes I will keep it rolling longer. But this has been quite a big hike. I've already been walking for five hours, for example. And there's no way there's five hours worth of footage. So I tend to pick out the good bits. Now where we are now, we're leaving Lydiard Hill. I decided to come down a more sheltered bit. Kept my jumper on, put my scarf on actually. Uh, I haven't put the raincoat on. I'm really enjoying myself and I really feel blessed that I achieved getting to the church like I did. Even though I was a bit worried at one point that I was never going to find it. In the end I did. Instinct and that lovely woman in the car helped me get there. I didn't get in her car, she just... She told me I was doing alright and I was actually on the right track, which was good. Now we're coming up to the top of Stout Lane and it is stout and there's a pub at the bottom of it. Now some people come along here, they walk to the pub, their husband goes back and gets the car. Well, it's all not very nice, isn't it, eating out? I never do that, I just take all my own food. Now what we've got to look out for when we get down here, as you come out of Stout Lane apparently, there is a track. Now I'm not sure which side of the gate it's supposed to be. I presumed it was the other side of the gate. But it could be, it's that one there. 
and it takes you straight across towards Ashholt Village and Ashholt Church. But it might not be that one because of how confusing it is. It might be the other side of this gate. Now, let's just have a look. Sometimes they give you a map. Here's a little map here. Just take a picture of it for future reference, Jill. It might come in handy. The red dot is where we are. But it doesn't point out all these different things. So I think this is the one we would take. This line here. Um, where's Ashalt gone? I can't see it on there. It might not be on there, but anyway, that, that's, that's where we go. There's Lydia Hill. Or we go further down and we go that way, I think. It's more like that. And there's a village of Ashalt there. So, look out for a path. And when we get past this gate, that's Stout Lane there. It's all right. It isn't as bad as it sounds. But it does go on for a while. But I've today I've done almost equivalent lanes. Those people came through here, look, and they didn't even do that. Those people that came through here a minute ago. That's ignorance, isn't it? Right, Stout Lane. Now, is there a path directly opposite? See, that, that takes you down to West Bagborough, down there. I've been up and down that several times. Now, what we have to look for is a track close by. Alright, so basically we'll be coming up here. This would be where, that's just an extra bit there. You've come up. Right, now when you get here, there's some beautiful trees in there by the way. When you get here, you have to look for a track. Now it could be that it's over there, but it's not very straightforward, is it? Now there, there's Greatwood over there, and we skirted that earlier. We walked all the way along it till we came to a turn in for Ashholt. Right? It might not even take us long next time, might it? No, because we've we've done it. Just look up for a track going down. It's, it shows it. It's, it's almost opposite, apparently. Some people coming. So I'm just having a look. Let's see if there is a track. I can't actually see one at the moon. Not a straightforward track. Let's have a look here. But we'll just have. Let's just stand here a minute. Yeah, I reckon it must be over there by those trees there. Go straight down that way. Straight down that valley. There we are. We were over there earlier. We followed that great wood all the way along. All the way along. And we turned off and entered Ashholt. We went right the way along. And then we come up the other side and walk this way. Took me, I've been on a five hour walk so far, and I've probably got three to do. Three hours to do. And I love every minute of it. I'm not rushing, I'm not marching, I'm enjoying it. You get these people out with their sticks, they're bloody marching along. I think, oh God. I'm just exploring this area for future reference, just for a minute. I just want to have a look over here to see if this is the track that they mean. And I think it is. So what we're doing, we're just having a quick recce here. So I'm a quick recce. Just go down to the little patch there, Sheila. I would say this is the way you'd go or come back up if you want to go to Ashholt, okay? This is it. So you just carry on down this way. That's something to do another time, but it's quite a steep climb up as well. Okay? It's quite a steep climb up. 
but let's just take a picture of it. That's it, and take a picture up that way. I mean, you wouldn't notice it straight away, would you? If you think about it, it's not signposted. Don't forget, they don't signpost here. But this is it. This is the track you have to take. If you want to go to Ashholt that way. And then you can make the decision which way you want to come back. I think I would make my way straight up that valley, I think. That would be the, what I'd do. I'd try that other path from the church. A few people about. So here we are, we're coming up to West Bagborough area and the start of Stout Lane is over there. So when we come up Stout Lane in the future, let's go straight down there. Okay. There will be a way up that valley. That's probably easier. Of course, there's nowhere to eat in the shop. See you know what I mean? You've got to make sure to take a picnic. Because there's nowhere to eat. That's a nice little ramble through there, by the way, which I've done on other walks. It's quite blowy now. Now we've got this little, this is only a small stretch here. Um, it might seem long, but once you've done it a few times, it doesn't seem as long. But like I said, beautiful trees here. Um, few people about, it is Saturday. More people coming. <sighs> Lovely picture that is there. Let me just take a picture of that. Right, just gonna turn off for a minute. 